Hi, Nick Muller here, and thanks for tuning in to my video on building the frame. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Well, I'm just going to clip in a couple of slides that give you the understanding required to essentially separate you from your business and have your business take a life of its own. Okay, so here we have the components required to essentially have a high-functioning, well-performing company that's independent of its original owner or shareholders, for argument's sake. All right, so without leadership, we just look over here, we've got leadership, structure, and sales. Okay, when leadership and sales work together well, we get motivation, motivated salespeople and motivated front end and invigoration throughout the organization. When we have sales and structure working together well, we get momentum. And when we have leadership and structure working well together, we have autonomy. Okay, so people work independently and interdependently with the organization. So what we're trying to accomplish in the center here is hands off, essentially be able to get out of the business, time and money without the drama, and reduce complexity. Okay, reduce complexity, sustainable revenue, and a stronger brand position. Okay, so without leadership, we don't have any direction. You look over here. Without sales working well, we end up with no money, ultimately. It can be very frustrating and stressful. And without structure, we get no progress. We just get tied up in the fishing wire. Okay, and around the edge here, we've got all of the components required to have, I'd say, an eight or a nine out of 10 in order to make your business successful, independent of its ownership, or to provide structure, enough structure and enough of a frame to run on its own. Okay, so we need to build an A team. We need to have leadership that understands people and how to motivate people. We need to have a strategy, planning, and a vision. And over here, we need an org structure that's well resourced. So the resourcing of the business supports the next stage, the growth and the evolution. We need to have workflow pro we need to have workflow processes and systems. We need to have forecasts, targets, and visibility around progress are so very important. We need to be able to see where we're up to in relation to the goal. Okay, and this creates a future focus. All right, marketing, sales competency, training, regular ongoing training. Salespeople get a lot of no's out there in the marketplace, and some more yeses or some internal motivation helps counter that. And we need all the sales systems linked together in such a way that reduces cost of sale. So CRM, KPIs, dashboards, et cetera. So you can see what's going on in your sales team. Those are the key components that builds the frame. All right, and so a couple of things, strategic plan, annual reviews are really important um, with the value skills matrix. KPIs across sales, production, and finance. You need to be able to say yes or, or comfortably say that we've got a seven, six or seven out of 10 in terms of having the right people on board and we're moving in the right direction. It's actually getting better as we go along. And we need to have a collaborative culture that's essentially, and ha how you tell is that the people are willing to be accountable, okay, with uh, towards each other, not just towards the, um, the figurehead that's overseeing the direction of the company, be it the CEO, GM, or the owner. That's it for now. Look forward to talking to you soon. Cheers.